Smith hadn't anticipated being the sentinel of his Wichita Falls, Texas, neighborhood that December day in 2016. Yet, upon spotting the girl on the scooter, a child resembling his own siblings, an unsettling intuition stirred within him. Initially assuming the approaching man was a relative, Smith soon discerned their interaction was far from familial norms. Observing the man lifting the girl from her scooter, Smith recognized the distress etched across her young face. Aware of the terror gripping the seven-year-old, Smith empathized deeply. If I were in her shoes, I'd be frightened too, he remarked. Rather than succumbing to his own apprehension, Smith resolved to seek aid from someone reliable, someone equipped to intervene effectively. Turning to his neighbor, Brad Ware, who was lounging with his wife, the boy urgently pleaded for assistance. Startled by Smith's cries, Ware recounted hearing the frantic call for help. Brad, Brad, some guy just kidnapped this little girl. Reacting swiftly, Ware and his wife sprang into action. I dashed out the door, Ware recounted to KUZ. But halfway down the alley, I had a change of plan, turned back, grabbed the keys, and dashed back out. Meanwhile, Smith persisted in shadowing the man suspected of abducting the young girl. By the time Ware retrieved his keys in his car, Smith had directed him to the deserted house where the man had disappeared. Smith pointed towards the rear of the house, Ware detailed. I pulled into the alley, slammed on the brakes, and my wife shouted for the man to release the child. According to Ware, it appeared the assailant was attempting to force the girl through a window of an abandoned house. However, as Ware closed in on the man, he released the child and made a break for escape. Determined not to let the suspect flee, Ware took action. I caught up with him in the street and delivered a kick to his groin, Ware recounted to the Washington. He made it across the street, hit the grass, and that's when I tackled him. Ware maintained control over the man until law enforcement arrived. Subsequently, 26-year-old Rayshon Perez was arrested and charged with aggravated kidnapping. Perez allegedly confessed to detectives his intention to the seven-year-old before returning her home. For Ware and the community in Wichita Falls, this incident was a stark wake-up call. This incident right here was an eye-opener, you know, because it could happen to anyone, Ware remarked. Pamela Brown, another resident at the time, expressed shock at the brazenness of the alleged attacker. I mean, all the kids were here, and for someone to do it right in front of somebody, yeah, that is scary, she stated. Consensus prevailed among all parties. The 11-year-old who took action in the face of danger was undeniably a hero. Brown emphasized, for him to go by himself like that and chase a man, that was awesome. He could have caught him too, but Smith is a hero. Local authorities echoed this sentiment. Mayor Stephen Santalana and Police Chief Manuel Borrego visited Smith's residence on December 15, 2016 to personally express their gratitude and present him with a certificate of appreciation. Additionally, they bestowed upon him an honorary police badge, a token Smith proudly wore to school the following week. We have two individuals, including an 11-year-old, stepping up with bravery to halt something that could have had dire consequences. Mayor Santalana remarked, I told Smith, I don't know if it has sunk in yet, but the city of Wichita Falls couldn't be prouder. Police Chief Borrego lauded the courage exhibited by all involved. In this situation, I believe the bravery of this young boy and the two other individuals was exceptional and indispensable. They acted without hesitation, he affirmed. Following the incident, the Wichita Falls Police Department moved to reassure parents, affirming that the purported attempted kidnapping was an isolated occurrence. Nevertheless, authorities urged adults to maintain vigilant supervision over children during outdoor activities. This proactive response aligned with the vision of Police Chief Borrego for the community under his leadership. One of our objectives is to encourage citizens to help us in crime prevention, to watch out for one another, and to foster a culture of good neighborliness, Borrego stated. 